Mark here and welcome to my laser engraver slash craft room. Uh, so um, today I am going to be doing a project that I've been wanting to do for some time um, and I've now found the time to do it. So I'm going to be using the, um, the M1 enclosed diode laser from Xtool and what I'm going to do is I've seen this before where some people have um, have done silhouettes of cats. So, of course, if you've been following us, you know we have a clutter of uh, nine black cats all rescued in our home. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some silhouettes of cats. So I'm going to cut them out with three millimeter basswood and then paint them black. And we're going to mount them uh, on corners. And I'm going to post this in an upcoming video and maybe some shorts and some reels and, and whatever else is out there. Um, and just to see their reaction. Um, so there's three different patterns that I've got that we're going to uh, maybe fit into this one. Maybe only two will fit because I want to kind of get them to uh, a, a decent size um, of a cat. <laughs> so what I'm using is uh, basswood. Um, and it's uh, 12 inch by 12 inch sheets of basswood. Uh, so we're going to do it on here. We're probably going to only get maybe two of them. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll line them up. Um, but, um, but yeah, that'll be uh, something interesting. We'll paint them black, of course, because our cats are black. Uh, and then we'll film their reaction. That'll be in a couple videos once we get it uh, painted and dried. Uh, now, uh, Xtool, if you're interested in a laser engraver or you have an open laser engraver, like the Xtool D1, D1 Pro, or any other manufacturer, and you want to upgrade to an enclosed unit, uh, right now until February, I've got the sheet here, uh, until February 16th, 2024, uh, you can, um, if you have your, your receipt for the purchase of whatever open diode laser you purchased, um, you can actually get up to $500 off of an enclosed machine. Uh, so that's something to, uh, to watch for. If you're thinking about upgrading, uh, this will actually do laser cutting as well as it's got a knife tool so you can do decals as well. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over onto the, um, uh, the program, the Creative Suite, the Xtool Creative Suite, which one thing I want to mention, I have a couple different laser engravers. Um, diff my first one was a red sail uh, that I brought in from, from China. It's a big unit. It's a nice unit, but the software in it is kind of third party and there's no, there's no real collaboration there. The one thing that I do like about Xtool, and, and is why I would recommend it, is well, they've got a number of different uh, laser engravers, the diode laser, they've also got uh, infrared laser, and they've got the new CO2 laser. So uh, they cut different materials in different ways. Check out their website um, to see maybe which one's best uh, if you are looking for it. But the best thing that I like about them is they're involved in the community. So there's a Facebook community that I belong to. Uh, it's the official M1 Xtool site. You can go on there. There's 34,000 people, I think, on it and ask a question. Or you can scroll through and you can find out um, a bunch of different information uh, and it really helps you out. Wonderful community. The other one is um, there is a in the Xtool suite there is a section where you can go and find different projects. So you get a laser engraver, then what do you do? Well, now you gotta go and maybe go to Etsy and figure out different things and maybe purchase patterns and all this stuff. Well, Xtool actually has their own community that you can go into and um, members of the community upload files and projects. Uh, and um, and you can go through them and find the project you want. You can search through the database. It gives you all the files. You can just open them up right in the program and you can get started. It's got a step-by-step -step description of what to do and how to make that project. So 
that in a nutshell is is uh, great it's invaluable uh, that kind of information uh, and then they also have an ai you know ai uh, uh, generative fill is is huge they've actually got an ai component in there so if you upload your projects for the community to see then you actually get points to use uh, in their ai generative lab which uh, you want a picture of let's say you want a silhouette of uh, some horses in front of a barn. You type that in and it actually generates that for you and, and it'll generate a few different images for you to choose from. So wonderful tools. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the program uh, and we'll start making some uh, cat cutouts. Okay, so here we are in the Xtool creative space. Um, and uh, this down here is the AI X art, they call it, and that is the AI generative uh, area that you go into. The other one I mentioned is the X tool projects, um, which is in here, and this is where you can find all kinds of uh, projects. Uh, let's say you click on machines here, and we have the, uh, I've got the M1 here. Uh, so if we click on the M1, for example, it has all of these different projects and you can scroll on, you can search through them for what you want, maybe something for Valentine's that's coming up. Um, and it gives you a step-by-step -step and all of the files. So uh, this is just a, a great uh, way to uh, just jump right into it. And once you get going, you can actually upload your projects into here um, and uh, for, for other people to um, to enjoy. Uh, anyway, let's go back here to the editor. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to go in and grab an image. So I'm going to grab this one. Um, I'm going to go full size on it. So we'll open it right up. So this will be 12 inches, which, yeah, yeah, that's about the size, I think. Um, and then I'll be able to put the other one over here. Now, this is a JPEG image. So if you're familiar with different um, different images, computer images, a JPEG image and a vector are two different things. So JPEG, you can only engrave. And over here on the right, it shows just engrave. Uh, so it doesn't know that it's an actual cat uh, or it's a cutout. Um, so in the past and in earlier versions of this, there wasn't capabilities to convert it into what's called a vector. So you're able to actually cut it out. But new updates, uh, Xtool is updating all the time. Uh, it has right here trace image. So we go in and click on that and it's going to think a little bit. And here we go. It's actually traced out the image. So I can then zoom in. I don't have the eyes. So we can change the, I think it's fuzziness. Uh, is it right up? Uh, or down. No, we might not have, uh, might not, well, we, we don't really need the eyes anyway, um, the insides, the pupils, because they're just going to be hanging there. Um, but what you could do is you could go into, um, you can go into uh, your photo editing and you can connect this so that it's kind of connected in there. Um, I'm just playing around with this. I just wanted to see. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is there. Okay. So it's this one here that I wanted to use. And, you know, playing around with this program, uh, just trying to figure it out. Okay. So now we have the eyes, you know, if we want the eyes, um, but um, we, we won't need the eyes, but for this, we'll keep them. Okay. So that looks good. Uh, we don't need the whiskers, which you can see here. Um, that's fine. Uh, so that looks good. So we are going to just save this. And now we have our cutout. And if you look over here, we have score, engrave, and cut. Uh, so we are gonna cut this out. Uh, and uh, there we go. So there's our first one. Uh, so now the next one, we are going to open up an image and let's see how that fits. So we'll move it over, make good use of our wood, and we will open that up as well. We can probably go bigger. Um, let's go into trace again. We'll trace that out. Uh, we'll zoom in here. Oh, and we've already got it. Okay, so that looks good. Let me just make sure all of our lines are good, which they are. And there we go. 
Okay, so that's good. So we can just save that and we can zoom out uh, and that looks good. Okay, so we're going to bring that over. Uh, we're going to get rid of uh, Gonna get rid of that there. So here is our, it's just put it into another layer. So there's two different layers here. Um, and um, whoops, I did the wrong one. So good for the undo. So I want layer one. It's just because the image is black. I was thinking it was layer two. So we'll just delete that. So there we go. So here is our two. And we will just maximize the size of this just to get, get a good amount here. So there we go. There's our two. So now um, over here, this is set to cut and we have um, what well, we need to turn on our machine, actually. <laughs> so let's do that. Turn on the machine and we'll get going because I don't have some settings because it's not connected. I'm, I'm actually getting a it's called a riser base uh, that goes underneath the machine here. Uh, and then there's a um, a, a tray, um, a wire tray to a honeycomb kind of tray. But what I'm using right now are, they're, they're basically triangles. I don't know if you can see them there. Yeah, it's a triangle. So they're called prisms. Uh, and this was actually come up by one of the uh, beta testers or one of the users suggested, well, make these things to be able to raise your project up. So your wood's not resting right on a flat surface because of course you want to cut through it and it's just going to char the back of it. Um, so we take these prisms and we just lay them down on the bottom and we put our wood right on top of that. Uh, so they're now down. I'm going to take my wood. I'm just going to slide it right in here and close the lid and we'll back over to the program and it will show us, it'll refresh because there is a camera in here that actually shows it so you can line things up. Okay, so now that we have that in there, we can see we're a little off and we're going to have to adjust that slightly. So I'm going to bring that over. That looks good. I'll bring this one over. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so it's lined up now, but what we want to do is we want to measure the... Um, there's a laser in there that detects the height. So over here it says height raised, no. So we want triangular prisms. So we are using the prisms. Uh, and then we click this little measuring tool here on the right and it will think and will give us a number in here and tell us, uh, well, more importantly, tell the machine how high the material is. Uh, and if we look over here, we can see it's now off again. It's all kind of messed up. So we have to readjust, uh, which we will have to, well, I guess we're gonna have to shrink our cat a little bit. Okay, so that cat's on. And this one's gonna have to be shrunk down a bit. Ooh, it's close. Uh, there. And uh, no, we're going to have to bring that one down a little bit more. Okay, so, and this is a wonderful tool. I'm just going to use the arrow keys to bring it over a little bit. Okay, so um, here, uh, our thickness or our distance, it's, so it's auto measuring. Uh, it says 6.5. Uh, we'll just click that. It's going to think and it's going to remeasure using the laser. Uh, there's a laser in there that uh, measures the height. Uh, we are using the triangular prisms um, and user defined material. You can select uh, a bunch of different materials that are preset in here. Um, I know that uh, from experience, uh, I know what uh, I normally do, which is power of 100 and a speed of five. So that is selected for that one. Uh, and if I go over and click the other little kitty here, we'll go also 100 and we'll go five. And this can change depending on the type of machine you have. Um, this actually has a 10 watt laser. Uh, if it's a 20 watt laser, then you, know, you can go twice as fast, uh, theoretically, right? Uh, okay, so just confirming. 
We have our kitty here at 105. Uh, score, I want it to cut. Uh, yeah, see, it's always good to double check your work. <laughs> uh, 105 for cut. And this one here, I do have it uncut. Um, so it's always good to double check your work. That was the first one I put in, uh, 105. Okay, so there we go. Um, we have that all set up now and they're all in line. Uh, we're ready to process, but what we want to do is we want to frame it first. Uh, so framing it will move, um, we'll move the laser around physically here. We'll be able to look and make sure everything is as lined up as it shows. So we'll hit framing. And then what I will do is I'll hit, there's a button here. Uh, let me grab you and show you. Um, so there's a button here on the front that's kind of just glowing. And uh, the laser head is over there and here's our sheet. So I will then hit this button and it is going to go around and just show you with the little laser light. Yeah, that looks good. Sometimes it's a little hard to see. That looks good. Yeah, so it is not going off of the edge. So it went right around on the wood. Uh, so that is great. Uh, so what we're going to do then now is framing is complete here. Uh, and then we are going to click process. It's going to come up, think a little bit. Okay, it's just an outline there, a little hard to see. Um, but we will hit the start button up in the corner and it is now ready. We'll come back over to the machine. Uh, here we're glowing again. So then we hit the button and away it goes. So it's going to start cutting and um, it'll probably take about 10, 10 to 15 minutes to complete. All right, there we go. It actually only took eight minutes and 12 seconds to complete. So it was a little quicker than what I thought, uh, but there we go. Uh, so if we grab the outer, there's our, our stencil, I guess. I could probably uh, use that as a, a stencil for spray painting something, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, and then here's our cats. So there we go. Cat number one. So that would go kind of coming around the corner. We'll paint it black. Uh, and then cat number two. Uh, so same kind of, a little bit of scorching here. Uh, I am getting what's called air assist as well. So that one all kind of, it's a little front heavy. <laughs> uh, I'm getting air assist, which will um, minimize any of this from happening as well. Um, but this is going to be painted, so it's not much of an issue. Uh, if there is issue with, uh, let's say you want to do something uh, like a frustration rummy board, uh, what I do here is I actually mask it off with masking tape uh, and then uh, I peel it off so you don't get any of the scorching, especially uh, when you cut the holes out because there's a lot going on there, a lot of power. So that, uh, that's it, that's the little project. So like I said, um, if you're not subscribed to our channel, um, make sure you subscribe uh, so you can see the reaction, you'll be notified, uh, see the reaction to, uh, to our cats um, when they see a new wooden black cat show up. Uh, so I'll have to set up some multiple cameras and, uh, and capture the moment. Uh, anyway, um, that is it from uh, the basement here at the Ten Acre Woods. Uh, I hope you have a uh, wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.